if you are a web developer or fan of Nuxt.js framework, you are going to love this new tool that promises to make your debugging and workflow more faster, efficient and enjoyable. Yes, I'm going to talk about the new Nuxt dev tool. In case you're not familiar with Nuxt.js, it's a popular open source framework based on Vue.js that allows you to create modern web application and website with ease. Nuxt.js provides many features out of the box such as server side rendering, code splitting and static site generation. Now with the next dev tool, the development experience is even better. The next dev tool is a package that integrates with your next project and provide a set of powerful features, including a visual component tree and a state explorer and performance profiler. With this tool, you can easily inspect and debug your application, identify performance bottlenecks and optimize your code efficiently. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the next dev tool and show you how to use it in your own project. We'll walk you through the installation process and demonstrate the key features and provide some tips and tricks along the way. By the end of this video, we'll have a good understanding of how Nuxt dev tool works and how it help you to take your Nuxt development to the next level. So without further ado, let's get started. But before starting the video, if you are new to the channel, check the other content and if it feels like this channel can provide you the value, then please consider subscribing to this channel and also always leave a comment. Let's start the coding part. So I will open my terminal as always, then I'm going to open my project folder and inside the project folder, I would create a new project so that I can uh, publish the code repository. So, and you can take a look of what I'm doing. So let's run our all time favorite Nuxi command, so npx Nuxi in it. And then I would give my project name, which would be in this case, Nux3 dev tool. So once uh, that is done, I will open the folder, Nux3 dev tool. Uh, once we are inside the directory, we'll run the yarn command. If you are using npm, that in this case, you will run npm i command. If you are using pnpm, in that case, you will run pnpm install command. So we are using yarn, so yarn command, just alone the yarn command is fine. So let's run the yarn command and it will re reinstall all our dependency that requires to run the next project. Since you are waiting for the dependencies to be installed, what you can do, you can leave a comment about my previous video or in general a feedback that would be uh, really helpful for me. our package is installed. Now let's uh, open it, open the for let's open the project in our VS code. So VS code is added. Let's uh, give it some permission. Now let's close this one because I don't need it anymore. I will use the embedded terminal. Let's run the project Yandev and let's visit localhost 3000. And as you can see, we have a fresh piece of Nuxt installation. And now what we'd like to do, we'd like to install the dev tool. If you are using uh, the extension view extension, then you'll obviously have some option in your dev tool. But this new uh, dev tool package will give you a more insight to the Nuxt side of the project right now you can see it as a view project you can have this like a uh, hierarchy of your component you can uh, check the timeline and all right you can see the state of the project you can see all the methods set up all this thing but the next uh, dev tool will give you more insight to your project for a better debugging experience so let me just open up the github and show you what we are talking about today so this is the package released by uh, the Nuxt community in the in the view Amsterdam event. Great accomplishment by uh, I don't know the name. So let me just I I know uh, his username, but I don't know his name. So we'll call it uh, Mr. Andfu. So huge thanks to Mr. Andfu for releasing this package and doing all the contribution to view and Nuxt ecosystem. So being that said, let's see what are they saying in their documentation. So you can see the first thing you'll notice, this is a preview version. So 
you can experiment it uh, with your uh, with your normal side projects but don't just use it in your production version because heavily heavy changes are going on so it might if you are using some features that might get deprecated in the next version or so uh, by the time you're watching this video they, uh, they might update it but as of now this is the status of this project this is in preview this is not yet um, production ready so keep that in mind so to install it there are two way of do installing this uh, package one uh, with the Nuxi CLI the another would be with the uh, manual installation where you have to install the package first then you have to register the module inside uh, inside the next config file and then you can use that we are going to install it manually because we want to see how the process goes and what is the process uh, behind the scenes so let's install it manually so there should be a in manual installation method which is install it manually and then add it in the modules so let's uh, do that so i'll copy the module name and then in my terminal i will add yarn add and for a development dependency flag i'll add d and i will press enter now it will install the package so once the package is installed what i need to do i need to copy this uh, configuration and i need to paste it in my next config modules option so modules uh, it would take an array and in the array we will define our dev tools so once that is done well, i have to run it so yarn dev so let's run it and let's go to our dev and and you can see we have this little next icon at the very bottom of the page so you can see also uh, in the terminal i can see that it says next dev tool is enabled and the version is 0.1.3 so now let's uh, click on it and see what it is offering us so as you can see it is greeting us uh, with the option uh, dev tool welcome trying the preview of dev tools and this is some text they have written and also they are giving you the warning that it is a preview it's good to experiment and all but don't install it in your production project so let's click on get started and once you click on get started iframe would pop up and then you can see all the details about your next project and the good thing about it is that they have added a color changer so if i click on it it will be white white is better for the video but don't use white it's bad for your eyes so as you can see the overview gives us a basic insight of our project which says the version we are using the com the number of component we have in our project the number of imports the plugins modules all that so let's go one by one and see what is uh, there so if i click on the component it will take me to all the component that is uh, imported in our project and that is used in our project so you can see we have the client only if you are uh, using Nuxt before then you would obviously know what client only is this is a, a component that runs the inside uh, code only in the client mode then we have dev only we have uh, error handling um, component next error boundary we have talked about it in our uh, url shortener course video then we have next layout we we use it heavily right we use it uh, when we build some project you can refer to my other videos for that we have next link you already know about next link so i don't have to tell you about that we have the loading indicator we have server placeholder all of that we have here and then we have this next uh, welcome which is causing this page to render so we, we can see all these component in one place isn't it amazing then inside the pages you can see the pages and all so what I would like to do I would like to create a pages folder and let's see if it is um, able to detect the pages and all so what I'll do I'll go to my uh, I'll go to my project directory and here I'll create a page uh, a pages folder so let's create the folder page pages and inside the pages I would uh, add the index dot view then I would add uh, about dot view so as you can see we already have some errors so let's uh, try to fix it so first thing we'll do we'll take a template 
and inside the template we just say this is about okay and then inside the template we'll just copy this one and inside the index we'll just say index page okay once that is done we'll uh, refresh our page and you can see uh, we have our page is listed here we have an active page if I go here it will change it to about page so let's uh, do one thing let's create a component as well and see if it is working properly so I'll create a components folder compo Nents, and inside the components folder I would just say uh, test component dot view inside that I'll paste it and I'll just say component content let's give it some state too so what I'll do I'll add a script and I'll add setup I would make the lang as typescript and inside that I would define some reference so const msg would be a reference hello world and i would print it right here sg okay now let's save it and inside the app what we'll do we instead of next welcome we'll do next page so let's save it and you can see inside about i can see my about text so let's go to the home and inside home i am having the home text now what happen if we uh if we include our uh, component so let's see if it can detect the states and all so uh, let's uh, open let's do it in a uh, page index page itself and in uh, just below the index i would render the test component as you can see the test component is also getting rendered now what i would like to see is uh, inside the text component do we have anything so if i click on it it, it directly takes me to my vs code uh, file that is causing this um, component so one thing i would like to check is how the other options are so let's go one by one and don't go outside of the track let's check all of these things so we have uh, two pages as you can see so we have an active page which is our home page we have the about page and we can click to go uh, navigate between the pages so if i can if i click on this slash button i will go to index and then if i click on about i would go to the about page now we also have the components options right so after components we have imports so these are all uh, uh, these are all your uh, imports that are there but the since next three is the tree shakeable so all these import import will not be inside your build when you deploy the project only the one which you are using will be uh, used um, and other than that everything would be stripped down so as you can see we are currently using this component use head use app config use ref so where is this ref is coming from this ref is coming from uh, from here we are using a ref right so it is automatically imported how it is automatically imported that you can check in this uh, a dev option in this dev tool actually so when you are creating pages and component and composable don't think that all will be used if you are not using anything if there is like thousand comp composables and you are using only one then the rest of the 9999 comp composables will be stripped down at the time of building the project now uh, what we have there in next in next we have the modules so as of now we don't have any modules other than the dev tool itself so if we add our modules the module information would be here okay so let's say in our previous uh, projects we have installed a uh, few modules right we have installed installed that pwa module and other thing so if uh, we have the modules if you have my previous code video or code of the previous video then you might also try this uh, in that project and then you can probably see the pwa module option right here then we have the plugins option by default we have few plugins like vue.js head and all but if you create a plugin inside this you will have this option to create a plugin you can follow my other video that is there in the channel 
on of the course uh, explains how plugins work so you can check that as well in the mongodb video i have explained how you can register your own plugin so there would be a card somewhere or maybe in the description you'd find a link so go check that out if you don't know about plugins then we have our app config since we don't have any config file or environment variable it is showing us none but all your environment variable and app config will be here and right after that we have some states and use state use async data so we are not using async data and use state so that's why yeah, it is showing nothing but once you have that you will have you will see all these global data right here right and then right after that we have these hooks so if you are using any build hooks or builder hooks uh, for creating maybe if you are generating some sitemap based on the routes then you need the hooks right so all these hooks you can uh, see here and then you can use these hooks and their prior you can see all, all their priority as well right so if you need something you can use these hooks to uh, to extend the features of your nux project after that we have what do we have here what this names so it says virtual files so these are the files that um, nux creates so you can see all of that as well so if i click on here you can see these uh, things as well so right after that we have a search if you want to search anything that is right here in front of you and at the end we have a integration to uh, vs code if you want to install vs code you can do that so that is it guys this is how the nux dev tool is and this is how you can use it in your leverage to maximize your debugging in Nuxt. I hope this tool will help you to build more better and robust application and I hope I have able to explain all the feature correctly. If I am missing anything or you have any question then don't forget to comment it and I'll I am always available on Discord so please do join the Discord server and let's have a discussion about the dev tool. I will meet you in the next video till then stay focused and keep coding. Bye.